Hi everyone, my name is Samantha. Welcome to my kitchen. If you're new to Top Dog Tips, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can check out all the fun recipes that I share as well as how-to videos, product reviews, comparisons, all kinds of great dog-related videos that I post every week. Today I want to talk with you guys about one of my favorite parts of Christmas and it is making homemade dog treats to give to all our friends and family who have dogs. So I love doing that. They make really cute gifts and they make a really good um, present for any hostess or host that uh, might invite you into their home during the season that has pets. It's kind of something that's uh, unique, it's homemade, so it's really thoughtful. Um, and of course, who doesn't want to shower their pet with treats and presents this time of year, so it makes it really nice for the people that you love to show the dogs that they love some appreciation this time of year. So I love doing that. Today I want to show you guys um, some dog treats that I love making. They're super cute um, and they're really easy. So the first thing you want to do is in a large mixing bowl, which I'm going to get out right here. I should have thought this before I started, but I forgot, sorry. So in a large mixing bowl, you, I'm going to need a spatula too. Um, it's very limited ingredients. These are super healthy and they're going to be great for any dog. So that's something you want to look for when you're giving um, gifts to other people. These are also gluten-free. They're great for dogs with allergies. Um, so here is a um, one cup of soy flour and you can substitute uh, a different type of flour if you want to use rye flour or something else. Um, if you're making them for your dog or for other dogs that you know that um, need a specific type of flour or a specific type of grain, you can always do that. Um, I have a quarter of a cup of applesauce and you want to use unsweetened applesauce. Uh, look for unsweetened organic applesauce if you can. I also have three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. And in this bowl, I have three and a half tablespoons of olive oil, and I also have two tablespoons of raw honey. So I'm going to add both of those. There's the honey on the bottom. And again, you want raw honey. You don't want the processed stuff that you buy at the grocery store that comes in a little bottle shaped like a bear um, because that is filled with other stuff and um, is not healthy for dogs. It's filled with a lot of processed sugars and artificial ingredients, so you don't want that. Um, so you're going to mix this together, and this is what's going to make your dough. Um, and then once you have your dough together on a floured surface, you're going to roll your dough out and use cookie cutters to cut out the shapes. I like to use Christmas cookie cutters. Um, I actually I can show you. I have a little star and a gingerbread man that I'm going to use. But you can use any type of... Um, a cookie cutter that you want. You can use dog bone shapes or um, we actually uh, a few years ago made cat shapes that we thought that was kind of funny. Um, so we did that. All right, so my dough is made. I'm going to go ahead and flour the surface um, and then I'm going to roll out my dough and I will show you how to go from there. All right, so I have my dough all rolled out here. Um, it, you can see that it's not a huge a chunk of dough, which is uh, great if you only have a few treats to make. If you have a lot to make, you can double the recipe. Speaking of doubling the recipe, um, I actually said one cup of soy flour when I was doing the recipe. You actually need two cups of soy flour. Uh, so just remember that, that you need two cups of soy flour. And if you look at this um, on our website or um, if you just click the link underneath the YouTube video, you'll see the written directions and you'll see there that it says uh, two cups of soy flour. So here are my little gingerbread men and I'm placing these after I cut them on a uh, greased and floured cookie sheet. Oh, the other thing you wanna do is um, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So um, two cups of soy flour, oven preheated to 350 degrees. Um, and then, uh, like I said, you roll this out. It's Mine's about a quarter of an inch thick. Just keep in mind that the thicker that you roll out your dough, the longer time it's going to take to cook. Um, mine's pretty thin. So usually it takes these um, only about six to eight minutes to cook. So um, not very long, which is really nice. You can make a lot of them in a short amount of time if you're uh, like me and you are making your 
Christmas cookies or Christmas dog cookies in this case just a few days before Christmas. Most people like to make them um, last minute so that they're nice and fresh when they give them to people. Um, we actually have a Christmas party to go to tomorrow and uh, I'm going to be giving these away so um, that's why I'm making them today. Didn't put quite enough flour down and they're sticking a little bit, but that's all right. So once you get your tray full, you're gonna bake them in the oven, the 350 degree oven for about six minutes. Like I said, if you make them a little thicker, they may have to cook for 10 minutes, um, a little bit thinner and they might only have to cook for a few minutes. So um, you cook them and then what I like to do is wrap them. You can wrap them um, in like, you can buy the colored saran wrap this time of year and uh, make a nice bow on that if you want to. Um, some people like to put them in like little baskets or something like that. I actually picked up these little containers um, just at our local dollar store. So I'm gonna fill those and stick a bow on them. I got pink ones for the girl dogs and um, green ones for the boy dogs. So I'm excited about that. Um, but wrap them up in a cute way. Um, oh, the other thing, before you pop these in the oven, sorry, I am not doing very good on the steps for this. I've made these so many times now that it's just second nature to me. So um, you've got them all on your cookie sheet. I have pumpkin seeds here, um, and then I also have some cranberries, some dried cranberries. So you can stuff those into the cookies. And um, like the gingerbread men, you know, it's pretty cute to put um, like little cranberry buttons for the gingerbread men, or however you want to decorate. If you want to make larger cookies or smaller cookies, um, you know, you can you can do whatever you like. Do some with cranberries and some with pumpkin seeds or um, however you wanna do it. But it just kind of adds a cute little decoration. So um, again, if you jump on our website or if you're on YouTube or whatever and you uh, just click the description underneath this video, if you're watching it on social media, it's there too. Um, and you can see the final product, the finished product that I am making to give away. So um, again, you know, find a cute little container, wrap them in like some colored saran wrap, make a cute bow on top, whatever you wanna do. Give them to your friends and family, they, they make a great gift. You can wrap them up and give them to your dog for Christmas, they'll make a great gift for him as well. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. My uh, email address is samantha at topdogtips.com. Again, all our information is on our website. There's tons of uh, recipes there, how-to videos, some product reviews, product comparisons, things like that. You can find all that stuff as well on our social media pages, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Pinterest, um, all of that. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll be up to date on all the latest videos that I post. You'll get an email update of those. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy these dog cookies or at least I hope your uh, recipients, if you're giving them away, will enjoy them. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great holiday, everyone.